Welcome to Photo News TV. I'm Will Prentice, Brand Specialist for Lighting Products at Amplis. Today we're going to look at how to use Cactus V6 as a camera trigger. In previous videos I've shown you how to control your flashes with V6, how to use some of the advanced features, and how to create and copy your own flash profiles. The first thing I need to control my camera shutter with a V6 is a camera specific cable. These are available for most popular Canon, Nikon, Pentax, Panasonic, Olympus, and Sony cameras. Some of these cables may work for other cameras not listed, but the only thing you can do is try. The cables have a 2.5mm plug on one end for plugging into your cactus, and the other end is camera specific. You'll have to refer to your camera manual to find out where you plug this one in. Of course, the other thing I'll need to fire my camera is a second V6. One on camera, one in my hand. I'll put one of the V6s on the camera and hook up the cable plugging into the side of the V6 as well as into the sync port of my camera, which on my Nikon is on the front. When turning things on, make sure that you turn on your V6 first and on camera will be set to RX for receive, then I turn the camera on. I've got another Cactus V6 in my hand which I set to transmit or TX. So to check that everything's working, I half press the, sh the shutter button, which is on the front of the V6, and the status LED should turn orange once autofocus is locked. A red LED means no focus or some other error, usually that the channel's wrong or a cable's pop loose. With I, when I fully press the shutter, the LED goes green and you can hear the shutter click. V6 also supports bulb mode if your camera has that feature. Set your camera exposure to bulb, aperture to whatever you want. As soon as you press the shutter button on the V6 in my hand, it's now showing bulb mode on. I can let go of the button and the shutter will stay open. As soon as I press the shutter button again with the V6 in hand, the shutter closes and I've got my long exposure. Another great feature of the V6 is to use relay mode. So if you want to have your camera away from you, say over by your bird feeder, you can also fire flashes as well and all everything is fired from one control unit. So here I've got my V6 on camera and in the background I've got two RF60 cactus flashes. All of the remote units are set to RX mode I've got my shutter speed and aperture locked in on my camera. With each V6, I press menu, scroll to relay mode, press OK, scroll to on, press OK again, and now I'm set up for relay. You'll notice now on my V6 on camera, the display shows REL-C for relay camera. On the V6 in my hand, it's showing the relay symbol right beside the battery. This just confirms I've got everything set properly. Now when I press the shutter button on the V6 in my hand, my camera and flashes will fire in sync. Another really great feature of this is I can still adjust the power output of my remote flashes Every time I turn the dial, you can see the yellow LED confirming that it's received a signal from the unit in my hand. So I've just gone from full power, and I'm going to scroll this one down to 128th power on all of my remote flashes, press the shutter button, and now I've got that full power control plus group control all from the palm of my hand. Stay tuned for the next video where I'll show you how to use Cactus V6 with other Cactus gear including the LV5 laser triggers. Thanks for watching Photo News TV brought to you by Amplis. Don't forget to click on the subscribe link to stay on top of product news and info announcements and training from your favorite brands of photo gear.